If you don't know what you're doing Or you need a little help When there's no one left to turn to And you wanna get it right Or if you wanna get the know-how For the next time that you ride I think you should watch this how-to video guide Hello and welcome to another episode of 63 Fix TV with me, Dan Locke. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can build a wheel from start to finish. There's a couple of things you're going to need. First, I've got a Sadio Super Spark hub. This is a 32 um, hole hub, front hub. And then we've got a Velocity P35 32 hole rim right here. And obviously, we've got some spokes. Here, now you can get your spokes measured up from a bike shop if you can't be bothered to go on the internet and you know research the measurements and stuff. Um, but I already knew the measurements, so here's the spokes. Some nipples there, some nipples. You need a spoke key as well. And this is sort of a good tool to use, this is a flathead screwdriver. You can use this later on, I'll show you. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you're going to get one spoke, and you're going to get your hub. And you're going to hold it just like this. Okay? This is the, the top flange, this is the bottom flange. Now, you're going to thread your spoke through one hole. doesn't matter which hole. And then, basically what you're going to do, your next spoke, you're going to skip a hole and go through the next one. Okay? So... It's like this. Okay? Like that. So you miss a hole. And what you're going to do is you're going to get spokes and do that all the way around back here. Okay, and then it should look like this. I know it doesn't look like much of a wheel at the moment, but wait and see. Right, what you're going to do now, get your rim. You're going to locate that where your valve goes. Okay? It'll be the big hole. Now, this is key. This is important, this bit. This is what you do. If you get this bit wrong, you're going to have to lace up your wheel all over again. So make sure you pay attention, guys. You're going to hold one of your spokes and you're going to put this. You're going to put this in one of these two holes, okay? We're going to go with this one today. Put that through this one, right next to the valve hole, okay? Grab a nipple, and you're going to thread it on the top. Maybe three turns. One, two, three. Okay? It's very important that you only do a certain amount of turns on each one, otherwise it will just be all unlevel. So that sits in there like that, without damaging anything. And then you basically get your next spoke and you count three holes. So you go from here, you go one, two, three, and then you go to the next one. Thread that in there like that. Get another nipple, like we said before. Screw it on three turns. One, two, three. Okay, and then you just follow this process, skipping three holes until you're back to the beginning. Okay, so once you've done the first side, start to look like this. Okay? And now, now all you have to do is the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So, get your next spoke, and remember, find the valve, the valve hole, right here. Remember how we put it, the first one, in this spoke, in this hole, sorry? What we're going to do is we're going to go for this hole now, okay? Make sure you do this properly, okay? Make sure you get this right. This is, this is key. Get your spoke. See how you've done it first? How it goes, how you've threaded it in from the outside, then upwards? You can do that the same opposite on this side. So you find the valve hole, line up the spoke, put it in this hole. 
like that. Bring that in, shape it up, put it in this hole, which here, which is the one next to the valve hole. Double check that you've put it in right, because uh, this is a common mistake. Make sure it, you know, in, in. Grab a nipple, make a joke about nipples, and then screw this on three times. Okay, then remember like we did before, you're going to come around and you're going to skip a hole in the hub. So you go there, like that. Put that in. Now, same as before, skip three holes. So one, two, three. Put it in the fourth hole, right here. And if you look, we're actually putting it in the hole on the left side of the spoke that we've already laced. So on, when we put the next spoke in, it will go in this hole, next to that one, and so on, and so forth. Okay? So, go ahead and do that all the way around the rim. So, once you've done both sides, your wheel should be looking like this. Okay, still loose. Okay, as you can see, you've got two spokes, two spokes, two spokes, blah, blah, blah. Now, the next step is to, it's quite interesting, you set your wheel down, and you're going to spin the hub backwards towards you. So it was like that, you spin it like that, okay? Right, get your next spoke. Now, from this, you're going to thread it through from the inside now. So you're going to get a spoke. And you see the ones that we've missed? You poke through. Like that. From the inside, okay? So the, poke, the spoke is on the outside now of the hub now. So. And as you can see, still holding the hub whilst it's, you know, rotated backwards. You can see that this spoke goes that way, and then that way, and then so on. What we're going to do with this spoke is we're going to go the opposite way. Okay? So, it would go this way. What we're going to do is we're going to, you're going to do these, these steps. You're going to go over, over, under. Okay, so you get the spoke. You're going to go over this one, over this one, and then under this one, okay, and then you see the spoke next to it, we're going to skip that one and go in the next hole, right here, okay, and this is where it gets a bit tricky, because as you can see, the spoke doesn't poke all the way out, so you're going to get your nipple and carefully put it on the end, screw it on like that, okay. So remember, you go over, over, under. Let's, get, let's try it again with another spoke. So we're going to go to the next hole, which is here. Feed it through from the inside. Okay. And remember what we said. Got it on the back spin. We're going to go over, over, under. So you go over, over, under. See the spoke next to it? Skip it. And it goes in that one there. Okay, grab a nipple. Drop it in the top. And then you're going to repeat this all the way around on this side, okay? Okay, so okay. once you've done this for one side, you can turn it over. And as you can see, we need to do it on the other side now, okay? It's starting to stiffen up, you know? It's starting to get um, less space poking out the top here. This is what you use your screwdriver for, okay? Because if you look on the top of the nipples, They've got a little groove in there, so you can put your little flathead screwdriver in there, and then you can just sort of, you know, 
wind them on down as they poke out the top. So we'll do that in a bit. But, same as before, get your spoke, and as you can see, it's, it's, you know, the hub is turned now and it's not going anywhere. So we get your spoke from the other side, poke it through one of the holes, so that the spoke, you know, is coming out of the, the outside of the hub. Okay. And now if you look on this side of the hub, you've got your spokes. And you see one that's going this way, and you've got one that's going that way. You're going to go the opposite way again, so you go the same method before. You go over, over, under, and then you skip this one here. So we go over, over, under, like that. Okay, see how I did that? And then you miss, you skip this hole, put it in there, which is obviously the one left. See that? Okay. Get your nipple. See how there's like it's hardly poking out the top now? So you just drop that in on top of the spoke. Or, as I'd like to show you now, a little cheeky tip. Cheeky tip to do this an easier way. You get a other spoke and you screw that on just a couple of threads like that. And this makes it easier. With this little technique, drop this down into the hole, and on the other side, look, you just simply put that up the spoke into the nipple, screw on, and then you, whilst you hold the nipple with your fingers, you can unscrew the spoke, and voila, it's on there. Now let's do the next spoke. So, let's find duh, 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 this one here, go through, okay, same rule, over, over, under, over, over, under, skip a hole, go into this, the hole left over, like that, probably going to need to use that technique again. Screw on a little spoke. Spoky, spoky. Drop that in. Like that. Put the spoke in the end. Take it out. And then you want to repeat this all the way around. Okay, so once you've laced all the spokes, it should be looking like this. Okay, and as you can see, the spokes aren't exactly tight, you know, look how loose they are still. Pretty bendy, uh, starting to look a bit like a flower. So, what we're going to do, you can do this either you can get a spoke key and you can go along and tighten them up, or you can use a screwdriver. On the outside and tighten them up, but make sure that you tighten them up the sort of the same amount of screws all the way around on each one. Otherwise, you're going to get one spoke that's like real tight and one that's really loose, and it won't go any tighter. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, let's start with the valve one, which is right here. Okay. You might need to pull the spoke down, and you're going to just tighten that up so that there's no more thread, which is about there. And then you're going to get your spoke key, and do about one, two, three. You go along, do that until there's no more thread. And it's very vital when you, at the end after this, you when you start 
true in your wheel that you only use small amounts of turns when the spokes are really tight obviously so you want to go ahead and do this to all the spokes so you make sure that the, you screw it all the way to the end of the thread and then you do one, two, three three turns all the way around so after you've done that your spokes you'll find are probably still a bit loose um, which is, is fine. You can then go ahead and put this in like a truant stand or some upside down forks and true your spokes, true your wheel, sorry, so that it runs, you know, nice and not buckled or anything. Alright? But that is how to build a wheel. Um, be sure to check out my next video, which will probably be um, how to true a wheel, okay? But that is how to build a wheel. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, you know, message me if you have any questions, and become a fan on Facebook and find me in Twitter and anything else you can find your hands on. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.